fear. That's why I felt the first time someone cut Kobe. It doesn't happen long ago. My mother was at her haircut classes at the center, and I went to the OXO for an order. It was about 7 p.m., and I had spoke clothes. It was a two-part avenue, and when I got to the second one, the group of people who were beside me decided to skip the traffic light, so I had to wait alone. But then, a truck slowly passed next to me, and the man inside said, hello, but with an unpleasant voice. Then, the truck parked near to the Oxo, so I decided to run. Run. Run to the establishment. When I enter, I wait a few minutes. Five minutes. Then I check the man half left. And when the man half left, I go to the establishment to tell my mom all what happened. When I enter, my mother was cutting my father's hair. So I decided to don't tell her because of the shame I feel to my father to be right there. My father left the establishment and I tell my mother all what happened. My mother told me that these days are not like the others. But why? Why these days are not like at the beginning? 90% of the women at Mexico had been cut go, and that's only an approximated. If you see these graphics, you can see that the levels just grow. And this is only at Mexico. And if at Mexico, the most popular city, this is happening. What, what is happening around us? How much girls are suffering from this? Well, most of them don't have the lucky that I supposedly got. Because of the two stages that can happen after the cat call. The first one is when the girl, before that experience, have traumatic episodes. Like, I don't know, depression, unfair to anyone, fear, and distrust. And the second stage is when the man catch the girl and then do whatever he wanted to do with her and just throw her to the street or gear her or kill her. Well, now, without fear, please, all the girls on this classroom, if you have been cut for one time or two or three, any time, please raise your hands. Well, thank you. If you don't raise your hands because of shame or stuff like that, please listen what I'm going to say. Do you feel comfortable at that situation? Do you want that to happen? Well, I ask myself that. What is going to happen next? The man is going to, the man is going to come? What he wants? Could someone hear me at the truck screaming? Well, trust me when I say that thinking about this is not going to be better for yourselves. So please, now I feel security. Security, because now I can say all my story help girls to don't have distrust and tell her story and face the problem. Thank you.